Okay guys, in the previous lesson I just show you how to do Ajax with uh, Zen Framework 2 action and with uh, pure JavaScript. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same but I'm gonna use jQuery. Okay, there are three simple steps. Uh, steps. First we have to create of course uh, action, an action in our controller. So here we go. going to my index controller and I'm gonna create an action which is called jQuery Ajax action. Just to remind me that uh, I'm gonna use uh, jQuery, I'm gonna load jQuery application view model, new model and I'm changing again the layout to my layout FMI student, which is in public folder. Actually, the CSS, the JavaScript is in the public folder, and the layout is uh, in the view here. Okay, return view model. Nothing special, as you can see, they are absolutely identical. The pure JavaScript and the jQuery actions are actually identical. Let's look at the view script. I have to create a view and as you can guess now the view is gonna be called by the name of the action jQuery Ajax okay. jQuery Ajax create okay and for the jQuery Ajax, let's see how it looks. Step number two, create the view script. Because I want to copy this, I'm going to click. Okay, now let me copy all of this. As I said, all the code you can find in the mind map. And the link to the mind map you can find under the movie. In the description under the movie. Okay. Let me look at something that looks much better. Okay. So I'm not going to explain right now the the reason of this uh, view helpers, they place holders and actually uh, they place whatever we have here in the layout. We just have to set the style sheet, we have to set the title, links, etc. So here we go. All these view scripts are doing that. The only difference is, and I want to attract your attention on that, is this row. It's this line of code. Has script append FMI student JS jQuery Ajax JavaScript. This is the application, the JavaScript application, which I'm loading using this view script. This I have added just for fun. The title, Fox Mocha. This also is very important line. As you can see, to one global variable in the uh, in the namespace of JavaScript, I'm setting one variable called base URL and equals base path. Actually, I'm going to use this in my uh, JavaScript application. Okay, so step number two was preparing the view script. Step number three is cre uh, preparing the JavaScript application, jQuery Ajax, and this application goes to the public folder. It's ridiculous, but I cannot scroll here, so I have to unfold, contract here, public, here we go, in the FMI student JavaScript, I'm going to create now a new JavaScript file called jQuery Ajax, Ajax, 
create and look at now it's extremely simple I'm gonna show you the pure JavaScript what we have to do to achieve the same result with pure JavaScript well, that's why the toolkits are so useful JavaScript is extremely extremely useful tool I added a little bit more code but it's commented so just for information look now it's this famous chaining what we are doing here is we are sending first as a parameter to jQuery a function this function in this case will be treated as a function which will be used after on load event after the page is loaded and let's see what we do here again we use the same function by the way let me tell you that so we have to uh, we not have to but we can send four things to this uh, function factory first is a CSS selector in this case this function returns augmented object if it's fine if uh, this object can be find in the doom tree the second thing we can send is actually one object an element this element will be returned again augmented the third we can send an HTML snippet it's gonna be turned into a, a HTML subtree and it's gonna be returned and the fourth thing we can send to this function as a parameter is a function this function uh, will be treated as a function which should be executed after the page is loaded okay so after this what I told you let's look at again what we are doing here so this is the function which is the event handler think about it as the function which we assign to on load event and here it is the body of the function inside we are using a CSS selector we select our element it gets augmented and returned after that we can use because this object is augmented we can use now a method click and say what happens on click again function event handler and what we do is box load base URL FMI here we just turn back to the server get a code snippet and replace the content of our element see just as a comparison this is what we have to do using a jQuery and let me use, you uh, show you the pure JavaScript only one line of code using jQuery and see how much we have to write to achieve the same result uh, with pure JavaScript so this is the advantage of using the JavaScript toolkits actually we did our simple three steps we have created the controller action we have created the view script correlating to this action and finally we have created the JavaScript application so everything is done hopefully I didn't make a syntax errors or uh, I didn't make errors in the names of the uh, files let me check this again jQuery Ajax jQuery Ajax here echo this base path okay jQuery Aj uh, action jQuery Ajax that's it after this uh, short check actually I'm gonna open the module just make sure that the view script is okay jQuery Ajax jQuery Ajax let me look at the index controller jQuery Ajax view model blah blah okay so everything looks fine to me so let's push to our development server of course using github we don't have other choices for PHP cloud for AppFoc is not like that let's do add it's not taking too long 
at least the uh, previous at wasn't that long actually it's taking longer just to refresh hit add git commit and git push to our development server and let's see how it looks okay git status let me see the status now so our application jQuery Ajax, this is a JavaScript file this is a view script for our new action and index controller of course has been modified because we have added the code for our new action okay so now git commit I will call this jQuery Ajax commit I'm gonna check the status a new share fingerprint has been generated get status get push and hopefully we're done if we didn't make any syntax errors or other kind of errors refreshing just cannot wait to see the result get push push to Zend. okay notice this this is the pure JavaScript application another one it's called jQuery dash Ajax so as a comparison let's keep this one uh, first let me make sure that we didn't break anything no we didn't this is a jQuery Ajax. Okay, so there is a problem somewhere. Obviously. Try again, that's strange. Maybe I didn't load, uh, maybe I didn't name properly the view script. jQuery Ajax action. Let me check that okay the error was very trivial instead of uh, jQuery dash Ajax PHTML I was calling the view script PHP of course it's not gonna work this way so I'm renaming right now okay so it has been renamed now we have to deal with git git add update do not let me try that query yeah, I was afraid about that and I'm gonna make a error in the name of the files and I did it no problem it's gonna be fixed refreshing now Okay, then get status. Let me see now. New file module blah blah blah. Cannot uh, change the snow stage for commit. Use git add remove to update what will be committed. Use git checkout to discharge deleted. This change has not been let me try remove no I don't want to remove that okay so first I had to remove and after that do that but uh, in any case it's not gonna do any harm I can remove it later so I will say um, jQuery correct it commit and I'm gonna do git 
push to Zend and we'll see if that works. We saw how easy actually looks the JavaScript application. How easy it is just to retrieve data from the server and replace the content of one of the elements. So remote push Zend push. Okay, let me try now. Okay, Faust Mocha, let's click. And here we go. The content has been replaced. Okay, so just let's go back and uh, attract your attention to something. Where is the jQuery application view script? Oh, I closed it because I had to rename it jQuery Ajax. Now let me show you something. Pay attention on the fact that before calling my application, which is using jQuery, I am loading the jQuery from the uh, CDN, Code Distribution Network, code jQuery com jQuery 1.2.4.2. So this is the only difference here between the view script when I'm loading actually the pure JavaScript I don't need any library and when I'm loading a library I have to deliver my toolbox first to the page in order to use it and after that I use it in the following file okay so that's it folks in the next lecture I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing with Dojo and uh, just before I wrap up I just wanna show you something else in jQuery I'm using another uh, event I'm using the event click instead of uh, over mouse or so those are the only differences but uh, you have seen them so let me load again and show you this is a jQuery page notice the URL jQuery Ajax and uh, when I click I retrieve the data from the action and I replace the content and this is JS and as I said the event listener is here is attached to um, mouse over here we go it has been replaced and it not very well the image is still there and this is another reason to use the uh, toolkits Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for your attention.